and you're watching TV Free Baltimore. Right now, I will take the distinct pleasure of introducing our first lady for the state of Maryland, Miss Yumi Hogan. She became the first South Korean born first lady in the United States, as well as Maryland's first lady with the, in, with the inauguration of her husband as governor of Maryland in January of 2015. As first lady of Maryland, First Lady Hogan has continued to teach as an adjunct faculty member at her MICA alma mater, and she plans to support the arts community and social issues such as those affecting single mothers. First Lady Hogan, in 2016, she received the International Leadership Foundation's Inspirational Leader Award, and she is also the 2017 recipient of the Ellis Island Medal of Honor. Yes. In March of 2017, First Lady Hogan hosted an awards presentation during a spring student break artwork exhibition in the House of Delegates building that was in Annapolis and she told the young students, the attendees there, you alone have control to create your special identity through your artwork. Please join me in welcoming our First Lady for the State of Maryland, First Lady Yumi Hogan. Good evening. Uh, thank you, Barbara. De that was uh, Deborah. Thank you. Uh, nice introduction. Uh, there was a uh, perfect for Lisa before me. You came. Uh, you know, a couple ladies asked me, "You are Deborah. You are you just you just knew you say, but it's a uh, good presentation from Lisa. You heard that right person here. <laughs> you you come all April 17." So today is, feels like the first day of a spring, right? But actually, first day of spring is eight days ago. There was a snowstorm, little snowstorm. But today, just like the first day of spring, here we are, beautiful woman. Oh, just like a beautiful day today. You pick right day. <laughs> so we are, um, I want to thank Shahab Khani. Thank you for inviting me here. Then all, uh, some of my friends here. Um, then also National Center for Women Entrepreneurs for inviting me tonight. Thank you, I know who's the all organized behind the ladies. Thank you, let's give them a big round of applause. I know before we hear a lot of uh, their experienced speakers, um, we learn from each other always. Thank you, all ladies, before you tell us about your uh, experience and story. Uh, here is we have a young, all young generation, our daughters, and here. Then also, who is here? Lucky all gentlemen here. Oh, we are also all oh, welcome them too, right? Yes. And we have a, such a wonderful group of ladies and the gentlemen tonight, including several of our, elect, I think, elected officer here. Who is the elected officer here? No? Future, they're going to run to office. Yeah, OK. I'm so honored to be here with you all tonight and celebrate the important months with the fellow peers. Then. Earlier this month, on March 8, we celebrate International Women's Day. And uh, throughout the month of March, we recognize Women's History Month in Maryland. I went to the also Howdo County. There was beautiful all women's there, you know. So very close, you are next to each other. 
All of us can name countless women who have had a positive impact on our lives. From mothers to mentors, teachers, friends, businesses, and the political leaders, this month reminds us how far we as women have come together. While also offering an opportunity to celebrate the rich diversity of our various cultural, business, and regional backgrounds, women have made so many contributions in so many fields, from business and medicine to technology, science, and the government. You name it. We did it. I am so grateful and honored to be the first lady of Maryland. Every morning, I so thankful. Every morning, how we honor to be government house. We live there. Thank you. You also pray for my husband, and he's cancer free. Thank you. Thank you. So I'd like to share a little bit of my story with you tonight. Long story short. <laughs> I grew up in, in the countryside in the South Korea. The youngest of eight children, I'm the baby. But that time, after Korean War, a very um, countryside like the South Valley, I, I grew up chicken farm. No bus, not even school bus, no way. We have not even bus available for us. Two miles back and forth, school and home. It's a four mile or total. Sometimes, lots of snow, even though we all threw the snow, then we went to school. I remember walking always through the landscape, beautiful landscape. I was always sing, you know. So also I was a sing and uh, you know choir too. I can't sing anymore <laughs> because why? During the campaign, I helping my husband as a wife. So I talk too much, you know. So my voice changed. <laughs> so throughout my life, I never forgot to pursue my dream to be an art teacher, and I continued to. Do everything I can. I came to United States about 40 years ago. Follow my dreams and to give my family the best opportunities. As a single mother, raised three young my daughters. There was very tough time. Time could be very challenging. Then even then, I never forgot who I was, who I am, my responsibility, and my dreams. Then my mother always taught me to be strong and passionate. Then I had to be a role model for my daughters and teach them to be strong women and leaders in their own lives. Then. I never take them good less strong. Then uh, if they good, I make grow. grow. There was uh, once in a while I took them, and I working two jobs. So always our first generation immigration generation working hard for your children for a better life. Same as you all here, we are all same. So we may all come from different backgrounds, but as women, we have the same duty teach to our children and the next generation how to be successful, our children and women. This morning, I notice I hear a bird singing in front of my window on a tree. It must be have a blue miles and miles. They went to the 
Florida, and warm area, just like our human. Some we get old, you know, or something. Sometime we way from too cold. So birds singing, so wow, spring. The birds are always back home for spring. The birds always know to return to its home. So just like that, nature cycle, we must also never forget who we are, our dreams and our responsibilities. I too have to follow my dreams to be an art teacher and an artist, and I am fortunate to be on adjunct faculty at the MICA for five years now. Sometimes some people say, oh, you got the job because you're a husband governor. No, I was a stand up myself. Thank you. Women can do anything when we put our minds to it. And I am thankful for that my husband is also my biggest supporter. The people he was elected the governor, my husband spent most of his life in the private sector, founding, building, and running several small you know, real estate companies. He was a very small real estate company. That's how I met him. Then he spent 30 years in commercial real estate you know, business, a field that was for many years completely dominated by men. He and his peers went out of their way to try to bring more women into their industry. Because he understands just how important it is to empower women and to encourage more and more women to have a career in the business. Since taking office, he has continued to that trend. In fact, my husband has appointed almost 2,000 women to position throughout state. <laughs> Government including 33 new female judges, 14 cabinet secretaries, a woman, and a senior staff, and more than 1,800 female board members. Of course, like myself, many of you are not only successful in your careers. You are also mothers, grandmothers, wives, and uh, caretakers. I am the proud mother of three beautiful daughters and the grandmother to two children with two more on the way. I really grandmother this year. <laughs> I'm sure many of you can relate to the yet, and yet by working together, empowering each other and encouraging other women, we have not only found fulfillment at the home, but in our professional lives as well. Here in Melon, an amazing 40% woman that is just incredible. Business, small business woman, 40%. Well, that was very surprised, right? All woman power, right? The Melon is now growing job at one of the fastest wages in the country, and the woman and the planning vital role in the, that success. Melon is truly open for business, Lisa said too, right? And the that is include business that are owned by strong, talented women. This woman is history months. We should all strive never to fail to recognize the invaluable Contribution women have made throughout our history. At the same time, we must do everything we can to encourage even more women, especially our young, all girls here, our next generation, 
to succeed. Thank you again for inviting me here. Opportunity to be here with you and for the work you're doing every single day. You and I, let's work together. Make a woman strong. Thank you.